In this video, we're going to have a look at how we could alter the look of the border of a TK Inter label. Let's consider this computer program here. Of course, we have the usual lines of code we require when we use TK Inter. And on this line, we're creating an instance of the label, and the label is packed on this line. If we look at the arguments associated with the label, we have this here, which of course was the window that the label is going to be associated with. We're going to display the text hello world and over here you can see I'm choosing a font size of 32 and the font is going to be times and here I'm creating a border width of 1 and a relief of solid. Now these are the two parameters, the two arguments that we're going to be considering in this video. Now when this computer program executes, what we're going to see is the following. We're going to see the hello world text displayed and just as an aside, I've dragged the window to a little larger size than we get when we first run this program so we can easily see the border of the label. And you can see what's happened. The border is solid as you can see all the way around the text and the border width is of size 1. If I go on to the next program here, it is almost identical to the one above and in effect it is identical because it's going to produce the same output as we can see here and we can see we have a solid border of width 1. The difference is here I've put BD equals 1 whereas up here I put border width equals 1. So you have a choice. You can either use the word border width or you can use the abbreviation of this BD. In this video I've used BD throughout the example simply because I want to make it easier for us to get the snippet of code on the screen. If I was to write my code myself, I always have a tendency to put the full word in because I like to look at my code and say, oh, I'm dealing with the border width, not look at a BD and go, what's that mean? Because obviously the more code you write in Python, it will become obvious what BD means. But I'm of the opinion you should always stick the full length of the word in because it can't be mistaken what it means. This is the program we have just been considering and you you can see that I've got the border width being 1 and the relief being solid and what we would expect to see when this program executes is what you can see here. Now I'm going to slightly amend this program and down here you can see I'm making BD equal to 8. In other words, the border width is going to be 8. Everything else remains identical to the program above. So when this program executes, what we will see is the following. And if you look here, you can see that the border width is indeed much bigger than the border width as it appeared up here. I've taken the last program we looked at in this video and I've changed it in this position here. It used to say relief is assigned solid and now you can see it says relief is assigned raised. So when this program executes, what we're going to see is this. And if you look to the border of the label, you can see it has a raised look. It's as if it's been raised off the window behind. This program is identical to the one we've just seen, except here you now can see I've changed relief to sunken. So when this program executes, what we're going to see is here. And it looks as if the label's going into the form, i.e. it's been sunken. This program has been kept the same apart from this position where you can see that the relief is now equal to ridge. So when this program executes this is what we get and if you look at the border you can see it looks like a ridge around the text. This program shows another slight amendment which can be seen here. Relief has been assigned groove. So when this program executes what we will see is this. And if you look at the label, it looks like somebody's chiseled out a groove around the text Hello World. This program shows the creation of two labels that are packed onto a window. And the labels are almost the same in the sense that they both display Hello World. They both have the same relief of groove. They're both times and size 32. The difference is with the border. This one is 16 and this one is 8. When this program executes, what you would expect to see is shown here and if you look at the first label you can see that it's got a groove and that groove is bigger than the groove on this label and the reason it's bigger is quite simply because this one has a border of 16 whereas this one has the border set to 8. So if we wish to change the look 
of the border one of the things we can alter is the border width now when we talk about the border width we can use either bd or we could use border width and we assign these an appropriate number and that number relates to the width of the border around the label in addition we can assign an appropriate string to the argument relief and what we can do we can assign one of the following we can assign flat raised sunken ridge solid and groove alternatively we can assign the following and all the difference is is we use single quotes instead of the double quote so just be aware you can use double or single quotes when you're assigning to the argument relief so let's just remind ourselves of what we can actually use when we're assigning to the argument relief well we can assign one of the following and if we decide to choose a border width of eight and we write a computer program that will display the labels where each label takes one of these strings here what we can expect to see is this and you can see the border around each of the labels and you can see how they differ if i choose a border width of 16 and we have a look at what that will give us if i create a label with each of the strings we can expect to see the labels looking like this now of course it's up to you how you wish your labels to be displayed on a graphical user interface check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video